What's good, everyone? This is Raw Truth Media, giving you the raw content that you deservedly need. Please like and share this video throughout all social media platforms. And today we're going to talk about this last matchup that Jackson State played against, Lane College. And no offense to Lane College, but that was a beatdown. And Jackson State, to be honest, looking at that game, they could have put more than 80 points if they really wanted to. It, it was a beatdown. Um, a couple things I was glad to see. I was glad to see the energy. And I get it, this is a D2 team, but what you want to see from D2 teams, against D2 teams, that is, is if you're going to be consistent, if you're not going to have too many penalties, and if you're going to play clean football, that first half was dominant. Now, Lane College is not good, but still... In 2022, Lane College did beat Tennessee State. Now, it's a different team. But if you don't play your game, you could lose anybody. So it was good to see Jackson State just be focused. And I want them to carry out that same focus this season. You looked on social media or spaces or anything on YouTube, and the talk was Jackson State's lack of creativity against ULM. Now, before I go on, ULM beat UAB. They destroyed them. I think it was like 32 to 6. And I watched that game. Jackson State played ULM better than, way better than what UAB played. And that should tell you, And I, when I said that Jackson State has the talent to win the SWAT championship and potential celebration bowl, some people were scoffing off and saying, oh, you're just saying that. But look at their talent. Look at look at the receivers. Look at the quarterbacks. They have a lot of depth. The trenches are stout. Are they perfect? No. But the trenches is over 300 plus pounds. And they got ample amount of running backs. They didn't play this game with Irv Mulligan or J.D. Martin. They played the young guys. Heck, Travis Terrell didn't even play this game. And I don't mind it because this is a D2 team. I'm really not for anybody in HBCU, FCS to play D2, but I understand the reason why, the history, and it's bigger than football. The ones that's complaining about it, they don't really care about the history of HBCUs. They just care, care about one sport. And I don't really take what they say seriously just my opinion but let me digress I'm glad to see a lot of players playing in that game and injury free uh, Cameron McCoy if Jackson State could get him involved in anything he is one of the fastest players in this conference and I'm not bullshitting he's a blur Jacoby Morgan came off the bench I don't know what reason uh Maybe Cameron McCord beat him out. I don't even know. If anyone knows, let me know. Uh, but, like, because I was shocked to see Jacoby come off the bench. Maybe they're trying something new. But that was one of the things I noticed. Uh, Giannis Fordling, he is a matchup not nightmare. No one in this conference can guard him. Now, I know, fam, you have some elite DBs, especially with Bowler. Each DB in this conference, even the best of them, they can slow him down, but I don't think anyone can stop him. Isaiah Spencer did his thing. I like his game. Four catches for over 100 yards was a blur. He has everything you need in a receiver. Spencer has... Not only the height, but the speed, the route running. Man, these jokers are talented. If you're any team in the swag, don't play man to man. If you play man to man against JSU, bombs over Baghdad. And what Shines are doing, they're looking at one game and get it again. I thought there could have been more creativity in the ULM game, but I really feel like everyone in this space. Not, not the family, but those in the HBCU space and some who, let's be honest, don't really like JSU. 
they were nitpicking too crucially. <laughs> like, a, they were acting like a couple of HBCU teams can beat ULL, which is a lie. <laughs> Nobody's stopping that running game, and no one was stopping that defense. Now, you wonder why I'm bringing up ULM, because people are using ULM because Jack State didn't win, and because ULM was, quote-unquote, was top 10 worst. Right now, they're 2-0, and they look like they're going to be winning a couple of games. So this is why you should not judge anything until you see the full product. It's just like swag play. Yeah, I got a top two, three swag right now, and that's FAMU, Jackson State, and Grambling State, but that can change. You never know with these things. I believe by week four, week four, week five-ish, you'll see who really stands out. Week four, week five, you get to see who's really the top dogs in this conference. But going forward, I believe the Jackson State players on this team, I think they're going to be motivated. Uh, They hear all the chatter. They look at the disrespect. They're they're barely being in anybody's top four, top five in rankings, which is too early to put rankings, by the way. So they hear all that. So I believe they're going to be ready to play. Now, Southern's going to be ready to play, too, because... Southern and Jackson State, they despise each other. (laughs) It's a testy rivalry. But it should be some good football. Uh, One thing I noticed about JSU fans, and this is real, they support their team to the fullest. When I watched that game, one thing I saw was the fans just, like, this is the third quarter, and they're cheering loud. They're beating the crap out of this team. But they're still cheering, they're supporting their team, man. And that and that's real. And this is not a glazed session, quote unquote, on Jackson State. This is just keeping it honest with y'all. Uh every HBCU should support their team like that. Win, lose, or draw. Uh, there's some FBS teams that don't have that support like JSU do. So that should tell you something. But I can't wait to see next week, Jackson State versus Southern. Make sure to like this video, share this video. This is, these are my thoughts about Jackson State and Lane College. Y'all let me know in your opinion what you thought about this game. Um, I know the defense gave up one touchdown, but they put a bunch of backups in. Defense did their thing. Um, but yeah, y'all let me know. This is Raw Truth Media, and I'm out.